In addition to using the regular area takeoff tool to perform your area measurements, you also have the ability to take off sloped surfaces, such as you'd find on roofs, using the roof area tool within PlanSwift. You'll essentially draw your takeoff the same, but with this specialized tool, PlanSwift can take the pitch into account when calculating your total area. To do a takeoff on a pitched roof, select the down arrow under the area button at the top of the screen, and then select roof area from the drop down menu. In the resulting pop-up, give your item a name. The pitch field is the real star though when using the roof area tool. Let's say this plan has a 5 to 12 pitch. In that case, you'd just enter 5 in the pitch field. If it were a 3 to 12 slope, then you'd enter 3. Basically, you just enter the rise factor, and PlanSwift automatically assumes the 12 inch run. After you enter the pitch, select a color and fill type, and then press OK. Now you're in record mode. Perform your takeoff in the same manner you would perform a normal area takeoff. Once you click all of your points, and then press escape to stop the takeoff, your area is then calculated with the indicated pitch taken into account. Note that the calculated quantity displays in the pages panel on the left, and in the takeoff summary as well. However, if you hover your cursor over the actual piece of takeoff on the image, it shows the base area without the pitch factored in. So be mindful that the number you would actually want to use for a pitched area is what displays in the Pages panel in the Takeoff Summary. Ultimately, the Roof Area tool prevents you from having to manually add your pitch factors to the area calculations, saving you time and hassle when performing your roofing takeoffs. Before you build, construct connect.